Well, as you'll know by now, we are into our third lockdown. Now, one of the big differences between this lockdown and previous lockdowns is that churches are permitted to gather together corporately uh, for worship. Now, of course, that is to be in a COVID secure manner in accordance with government guidelines. Now, uh, Little Paxton Primary School, they are happy for us to continue uh, using the school building. Uh, based on the risk assessment that we've provided, based on the way that we have conducted ourselves and we will continue to conduct ourselves. So this Sunday morning, uh, we will have a meeting in Little Paxton uh, Primary School. We will continue to stream the service online. Uh, if you will be joining us in the building on Sundays, uh, please do be using that booking form. Uh, book in advance uh, uh, as much as you can, really. That's just going to help us uh, with logistics and with planning for those services. Now, as elders, we also recognise that uh, we all find ourselves in slightly different situations and we're going to be responding to this in slightly uh, different ways. Perhaps you've been coming along for the last few months, uh, but at the moment uh, you think it's best for you and uh, maybe others of your household to not be coming along physically to those services, but to be joining us online. We want to be supporting one another, to be patient with one another in this. These are unusual times. Uh, some of the stuff that has been thrown out on social media, e even in the last 12 hours, has been of, of Christians bickering and arguing with one another as to what should be done. And it can be very easy for us to take our own personal convictions and to put them uh, on other people. Let's be gentle. Let's be supportive. You know, what we are called to is to love and serve uh, the Lord. Yes, we are to, to meet together where we can. Uh, but there are restrictions that are on many of us for various different reasons at this point. So let's be loving and supportive uh, with one another. Now, Paul, the apostle, when he writes to the church in Philippi, uh, this is what he says. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel. Now, the Apostle Paul didn't know what the future held for him, or whether he would be in prison still, or whether he would be released and able to physically see the Philippians and hear what was going on. But he says, whatever happens, that there is an uncertainty about what lies ahead. There's an uncertainty for us as to what lies ahead in the coming weeks and months. But whatever happens, we are called to, con we are to conduct ourselves in a manner that is worthy of the gospel of Christ. Uh, let us be reminding ourselves of that. Whatever happens, whatever we do, and whether we feel that it is right for us to be physically gathering together, whether it, it, it feels for us that we need to just be stepping back uh, from physically gathering, but not be distancing from one another, that we'll be joining together you know, online, uh, communicating with one another. Whatever happens, we are to conduct ourselves in a manner that is worthy of the gospel of Christ. So let's keep encouraging, building one another, one another up by whatever means we have available. Whatever happens, whatever happens, may we stand firm in the one spirit. Whatever happens, that we strive together as one for the faith of the gospel. Now, we may not know what is, is going to happen, but we do know what we are called to. We are called to conduct ourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel. We are called to stand firm in the one spirit, to strive together as one for the faith of the gospel. Now, the world outside needs to hear uh, this message the great glorious message of Jesus Christ, the one who is our only hope, as we considered uh, on Sunday morning. Now, as the mountains fall, uh, as they crash into the sea, there is a place of security. And that place of security is in the Lord himself, the Lord Jesus Christ. So whatever happens, and let's conduct ourselves in a manner that's worthy of that gospel. And let us stand firm together, united in that gospel. Uh, and let us proclaim that gospel together now let's just pray together now and father we thank you that there is a certainty uh, in christ there is a certainty of, of where life is heading that is heading to the, the resurrection the new creation so we pray that our hope would be set on that that we will be united uh, together in the gospel 
don't know, however things may work out for us uh, individually or corporately in the coming weeks and months, that we would be united together in that faith, standing firm, encouraging one another uh, with the truth of the gospel uh, and proclaiming this truth but with our actions, with our words uh, to the world around us. Or that they too may share in the joy, in the hope, in the security that is in Christ. Lord, open our eyes uh, to the, the great security and joy that is in Christ and open our mouths to proclaim that too. Amen.